Dale Huber and Gary Yarbrough there talking. And here's Matt Grayson over from New York. Hey, Matt. And uh, I heard a, a rumor that we were going to have a Jackson, and I know that uh, Rob's never been here before, and uh, we saw him at uh, Bend, Oregon. What was it earlier this year? So, anyway, he's down. He's got his first... Uh, Rody Ranch Roundup under his belt. Rob Jackson, ladies and gentlemen, how you doing, sir? Welcome to Lou and Mike show. Thank you, Mike. Good, good to see you. Good to be here. Yeah. How was your trip? It was great. A long trip. Yeah. From the Pacific Northwest, but uh, it was a lot of fun. Right on. Uh, yeah. So great show so far. Cool. Uh, yeah. So we're having a lot of fun and, and more people than I realized. So, yeah. Yeah. It's a good yeah. one, and uh, the the uh, crowd's going to triple here before the deep pit uh, <laughs> beef comes out of the ground. That's right. That's right. Right so, on. Yeah. So, well, good. How's the show been for you so far? It has been fantastic. Made a lot of sales. Got to meet a lot of people that I've only known online. There so you that go. Was, that was really fun. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So, do you have any specialty collection stuff? No, no. I mean, most of the, most of the folks know that my dad was a big EC and M collector, so. That would be uh, Bob Jackson. That would be Bob. Uh -huh. Unfortunately, he couldn't make it. But, oh, bummer. When will we see him again? We're going to be at the National. Uh, excellent. In Utah? We're going to be in Utah. All right, Logan, Utah. And, uh, we're going to have some great stuff there. So, yeah, hope to see you there. All right, Rob. Well, thanks for taking time to talk to us this morning. Appreciate that. Thank you, Mike. Don't work too hard. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Yes, how are you? Lou and Mike show, ladies and gentlemen. Doing some interviews on the uh, on the Saturday of the show. I'll show you guys. Uh, have give you a private peek at uh, a piece that Nathan Lamke has on his table. That's been. Oh, I've had to wipe my drool off it twice so far. Nathan's getting a little bit um, aggravated with me. Um, this is a Cochrane Bells. For those of you who don't know. Uh, this one has not been manicured or anything. It looks to me to be original, uncleaned, and spectacular condition. I can't find anything wrong with it. And in this neck of the woods, we call that Mike Mint. So, um, Nathan, how's it been going for you, man? Pretty good. It's been an awesome show. Are you down from Oregon? Yep. Right on. How was your trip? Long. It's about a 12-hour drive. Oh, but Lord it's have totally mercy. Worth it. Has it been worth it? Oh, yeah. Excellent. Yep. Excellent. So you've been having fun? Oh, yeah. All yeah, right. Well, it's good to see you again, the, man. This is the best show of the year. It is. It's right up there with Yuma as far as Lou and I are concerned. Will we see you at uh, Logan, Utah? Yes, I'll be there. Awesome. Awesome. All right, man. Take care and have a good Saturday. All right. Thanks for joining us on the Lou and Mike Show. Oh, uh, I wanted to come back to you for one second. Um, anybody who can't live without that Cochrane Bells, how is the best, what's the best way to get in touch with you about that insulator? Ah, uh, boy, um, I guess just email me, glassinsulators at yahoo.com. Did you say glassinsulators at yahoo.com? That's correct. All right. And then that's how they can get in touch with you to uh, talk business about a dead mint line original. Purple Cochrane Bells. Yep. I mean, I say dead mint. I've been drooling on it and inspecting it for two days. If it's not dead mint, it's because I'm an old man and can't see clear, but I think it's perfect. <laughs> All right. All right, good luck with that. Well, a live video of the Lou and Mike show wouldn't be really complete without talking to Lou. So, I think we're going to work our way over here past the, the big knobby tree and the chains. Um, there's nothing hanging from the chains this year. Last year it was kind of scary what was hanging from the chains. But uh, this is a lot of heavy metal here. Let's go see what's going on. <laughs> 
Here's a uh, here's a panorama shot looking back under the trees. Saturday morning. It really hasn't even gotten busy here yet, and uh, people are just waking up and still on their first or second cup of coffee. There's Chuck. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing great. How's the show been so far, buddy? A lot of fun buying the lot. Yeah, cool man. Nice color on this table. Cool looking. Ooh, you have fire plugs. Look at that. Two little ones right up there. Oh, you got baby ones. Wow. You got baby fire plugs. Look at that. That's cool. Huh. So, Chuck, how would somebody get in touch with you if they saw something in this video they couldn't live without? Um... Send I'm sorry to put you on, on the spot. Huh? Find me on Facebook. Send me a message. Okay, how do you spell your last name? G-I-L-D-E-A. Okay. All right. Find Chuck on Facebook, Chuck Gilday. And uh, let him know you saw something in the Lou and Mike show video at the Roadie Ranch and you wanted to talk business. There's Heather Hilton coming at us. Mark's around here somewhere. I haven't seen Mark Hilton in quite a while. Some of you guys may remember um, Rick McElhenney and uh, Pat Brady. These guys are the original Impostulator guys. That's how they can afford to have a million and a half dollars worth of glass sitting in their display case right here. These are um, super high authenticity resin reproductions, and they are, well, in California parlance, they're bitching. So get a hold of Rick or Pat if you wanna wanna get you an impostulator. These are very cool pieces. What's the best way to get a hold of you guys if somebody wants something? Voice, uh, phone number. Yeah, are you willing to say it live? Sure. 209, area code 209-603-0655. Okay, and they'd be calling to talk to? Patrick. Patrick, okay. And that would be to uh, make a deal for some impostulators. These are uh, uh, very high quality. Uh, they feel good in your hand. They're obviously not glass, but they are a, a polymer acrylic resin or something yeah. like that. Yep. Yeah. And um, they are super, super close to the exact shape of the original stuff. At a distance, you literally can't tell the difference. So, anyway, one more time, that number, please, sir. Area code 209-603-0655. There you go. All right. Thanks for speaking with us on the Lou and Mike Show, man. More and more, they're being replaced with plastic. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, well, a lot of uh, house household. I'm going to dust uh, this one off real quick. Connections to either septic systems <laughs> or sewer pipes. We've all done in terracotta. Oh yeah, four foot sections. Pieces, damp yeah. tree roots grow right through the connectors. Oh exactly. Fill them up. Yeah, so that's the real deal right there. That old school. And you gotta, that's yeah, cool, man. Dig it out. So many and they replace entry, it with plastic. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> and with, with, with the moisture and water stuff oh, yeah. running through it, tree roots are saying, I'm going yeah, there. Yeah. Heat, yeah. Heat, heat, heat. I've seen that stuff where there's no more room for the water. Yeah. yeah. It's solid root. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, I noticed a bunch of uh, transposition brackets. Uh -huh. uh, you want to take a look? Let's see. I don't need to look. Okay. 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 You go out there and you get what you want. Okay. Count them up and bring me five dollars each. And that's all I need. Okay. I'm tired yeah. of hauling that stuff and I'm tired of <laughs> hanging on to it. I don't even need to look at it. I can tell you one thing about that whole pile of four-point transposition brackets. Okay. And that is, there's no two alike in that pile. Yeah, all the brackets are different. Every bracket yeah. is different. Yeah. But you're certainly welcome to take all you want. Five bucks a piece, 
Okay. Well, let's go have a look, because it sounds like Lou's talking about some cool stuff. Yeah, these are uh, little trans transposition insulators. They're also called spools. Down here for you. All right, we'll work our way down there. Okay. We'll be down in just a minute. So those of you who saw the pictures that Lou posted on uh, Facebook about the pallets that were going to be at Rody, this is it. This is the hardware. Now, um, I'm pretty sure that Lou will not be entertaining random phone calls and emails about this because these pallets are probably going to stay here. So one way or the other, you'll have to find yourself an agent who can make a trip to the Rody Ranch to recover this material for you. Now, I have a rumor. I understand a rumor I overheard that Gary Yarborough, Gary and Beth Yarborough, will be taking everything that's left when the show is over. So there's a possibility there will be nothing. So if you know someone who is at the show today, other than me, of course, since I'm pretty busy, um, and you want to reach out to them and have them do some video with you and show you what's on these pallets, maybe you and they can work a deal with Lou by remote and you can set up to pick your stuff up in Logan, Utah or somewhere else in the months to come. Uh, but we're going to we're going to come down here and have a look. What do you what do you see? Let's see. What stuff were you looking at? Oh, uh, down here. Oh, there's yeah. more? Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. So so this right here is not all of it. These pallets that are in the view here, are, this is not all of it. I'll be done. Look at that. Cool. Yeah. My great hangers. For yeah, dead end cleat. Or, yeah. In my case, for lighting. Yeah, get as creative as you want there. Yeah. I work with yeah. What did you find down here? Yeah. So at the far end here, I pulled them off the oh. track. Oh, yeah, point-type transposition brackets. Yeah. Or transposition, I call them spools. Uh-huh. Uh, and you take them apart. I mean, some people want the whole array, but I take them apart and I use them for a portion of lighting that I manufacture. Now, when you say take them apart, explain that to me. I'm going to get a okay. close-up. Tell me how yeah. you get that thing apart. What do you okay. do? You pull the pin here. There's a cotter pin. And it's uh, easy to, to, you know, it's pretty light metal. And you pull the pin out. Okay, let's roll that so they can see what you're talking about. Roll that a little bit. There's okay. a, Oh, there, I see there's a pin in there. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so that comes out. And then the little shaft, sometimes these get stuck and you got to kind of... Oh, there's a rubber uh, bushing in there to protect yeah. the glass to metal surface. I see. Right. And uh -huh. then, uh, you know, you end up with just the glass portion. Yeah. Um... Well, I wouldn't say you toss this. I mean, if you're using these, as I well, do, aluminum is recyclable. Sure. So I mean, if and you're I, interested I in the glass, these and I, yeah, I don't throw anything away. I mean, you really. can take that to the same place you take your beer cans, as long as you're not drinking Bud Light. Yeah, and aluminum uh, goes for more than steel. It's uh -huh. lighter, but that's right. So, uh, yeah, so I end up with a uh, you know glass piece that I use. Very cool. And so this is some of the stuff that you called, and for you, it's a great deal because you're paying five dollars a piece, and you're turning this stuff around and making it into other projects. Exactly. Great deal. And more than projects, I mean, it's a whole lighting uh, system company and system. Oh, I understand. Yeah. 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 Called railroad wear. But I, I mean, each each <laughs> one is a project for a customer. Uh, yes. Right. Yeah. And I. Yeah. I What's lighting? your website? It's called Railroad Wear, W-A-R-E dot com. Railroad Wear, spelled exactly like it sounds, W-A-R-E, just like it says right there, dot com. Right on. So, cool. Yeah, this is uh, this bounty here. Yeah. Um, and I, I've got a bunch of brackets that I've already uh, right on. Pulled, the, pulled off separate. All right, well, hey, thanks for taking time to Lou and Mike show. My name's Mike Doyle. Yeah, hey, Mike. Hey, yeah. so thanks for taking time, and uh, we're going to 
carry on and keep looking at stuff. All right. All right. Good luck. See you. Thanks. As good and as comfortable and as nice as this looks under these trees on this video, it actually is awesome. You know, the low murmur, the glass in every direction, all the cool stuff here. This is, this is what insulator collecting is about right here. Fellowship and cool stuff. And lots of your friends showing up every year. And the people you don't know that you get to see again. Hi. Oh. Are you Mrs. Railroad Wear? I am. Right on. Can you introduce yourself, please? Hi. No? Uh, Rather not? <laughs> my name is Darlene. Okay, hi. And... What do you have here? Uh, they are insulated gem jewelry. Ooh. My husband drills out the insulators. And I take the cores and I carve them and polish them and turn can, them into Can jewelry. people who are interested in this jewelry reach you on railroadwear.com? They can. Um, yes. Yes, they can. Okay, good. Because I already spoke with your husband and we <laughs> just did a piece with, with him over there. So that's great. Yeah, yeah. It's fun. Well, good. It's nice to meet you. You too. Thank you for taking time for the Lou and Mike show. Thank you. Jumbo. That's why it's called a jumbo, because it says jumbo. That's fun. Yeah, it's something to do. And people, sometimes people donate their broken ones. And like... One of the ladies in um, Arizona, is this not cool? I am buying one. I'm, yeah, I'm telling you too. what, get in there. So, my, my nephew. So as I was saying before, as nice as this looks and when you're looking at the video, it's twice as nice when you're actually here. The air is cool and the atmosphere is perfect. Lou and Mike Show, ladies and gentlemen, bringing you live Saturday morning coverage of the 2023 Rody Ranch Barbecue and Insulator Roundup. Brought to you by the number seven and the letter I. Dave Cross in the maroon shirt, Dwayne Anthony in the red shirt, and Dale Huber talking. The three of the longest time collectors in California right here. These guys go back to the days when you could still hike in the woods up in the Sierra and take insulators off the trees. Oh my goodness, look at that. That's Tim Woods and Linda Banks. Tim Woods, how you doing, sir? Doing good. Doing good to well. see you. Welcome to Lou and Mike Show. Again. Hi there. <laughs> Linda Banks. How are you? I'm good. Hugs. Oh, how you doing? I'm good. How was the trip? Like uh, coming through traffic. Okay. Well, I'm not going to jam you up while you walk around, but it's good to see you. Yeah. Glad you could make it. Is Howard over there? All right. We'll find him. And there, George and Judy Klingler. George and Judy. They're hosting the South Lake Tahoe show after the national. And Dan Gorin in the middle. He's the one that hosts the uh, trick. Triple Ridge Insulator Club show at his shop in uh, Colorado Springs. Peter Abbott and Roger Zizak right there. And Beth Zizak is around here somewhere. 
Street light. And there you see a Pyrex stacker. And this is a Muncie, but this is a Cooley. So this is a Muncie, and this is a Cooley. And then this is a stacker, a Pyrex stacker. The aqua ones are Hemingway stackers. There isn't one here. See anything cool? Everything's cool. Right on. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. And I bought that gutter top. Yes, ma'am, I do. Yes, ma'am, I have. Okay, and you are Michael Doyle. Michael Doyle. Yes, ma'am. Welcome to the Lou and Mike show. Doyle, D D O Y L E. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Because I'm, I'm with, uh, I'm down in L.A. area, oh. and I'm with the Bottle Club down there. Oh, I'll be darned. Okay. And so uh, I write for their newsletter when I go to a show. Excellent. And I interview interesting people. Oh, and my I, goodness. You are an interesting people. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate the compliment. I'll try not to uh, give away the truth. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now, what have... Um, Okay, you've been doing this for years. Yes, ma'am. Got started in 1969. When, yes, ma'am. 1969 when I over oversaw my... Uh, well, I was in the room when my grandfather uh, gave my uncle a Hunt's tomato paste flat full of Brookfield ponies. In the room when your... Yeah, I was in the room when my grandfather... Your grandfather... Gave my uncle... Gave your uncle... A Hunt's tomato paste flat. Remember how they used to come in the little cans? And you could buy a cardboard flat of Hunt's tomato paste, and you got 24 cans in one flat. Oh, no kidding. My grandfather had filled them with Brookfield Pony insulators. Yeah, and he handed one. He took one out. This is, this is about the shape of a Brookfield Pony insulator right here. And each one was in the cell where the Hunt's tomato paste cans had been when my grandmother took them out and put them in the pantry. And um, I oversaw that, and that got me started in the hobby when I was about 10 years old. Yes, ma'am. So I started collecting with the Chesapeake Bay Insulator Club. In what, what club? In the Chesapeake Bay Insulator Club. And I lived in... Uh, <laughs> Annandale, Virginia. What is that? Annandale, Virginia. A N N A N A N D A L E. Annandale. New Jersey. Mm -hmm. Um Annandale, Virginia. Virginia. Boy. Yes, ma'am. And and um, the high school was uh, W T Woodson. W. T. Woodson High School. How do you spell the last W O O D S O N. And I entered my insulators in the high school science fair and won first place in 1977. Entered my insulators in the high school science fair and won first place at Woodson in 1977. In the high school science fair. Mm -hmm. And the rest is history. <laughs> Right, I don't want to. I don't want to wear you out. Yep. So. No, that, that, that's good. Yep. No, that's good. And I moved moved to the West Coast in 1980 with the Navy. I was in the Navy for 25 years. I moved to the West Coast. The Navy moved me to the West Coast in 1980, and I served in Long Beach and this and that. And uh, I got involved in the Golden State Insulator Club. Well, you just had a little stepping stones all along. Yes, ma'am. I've had the opportunity to trade and deal and have friends on both coasts. It's been a lot of fun. Well, thanks for this. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for taking the time. Good to see you. All right. Hey, Roger. Good morning. What's happening? Not a whole lot. Roger Zizak, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the current and reigning Western Region Vice President of the National Insular Association. Yes, Let's sir. get a close up. Thank you. And uh, if you see anything on Roger's table that you cannot live without, this is how to get in touch. Absolutely. Ooh. So where's Beth today? What's she doing? 
she'll be back in a little while. All right. She's doing the, the lady thing, hanging out in the bed, sleeping in. No, not really that. Really? Just uh, running a few errands. And... Oh, good for her. Yeah. Well, right on. Well, you got some goodies on the table here. Yep. Yep. I'm, I'm guessing you might get some calls about Muncie's and stackers and all kinds of cool Man, stuff here. He's got a yellow here, too. It's got some owies, but it's a true yellow. <laughs> Look at that. That's nice. Look at that. Well, Roger, we're going to try to get around a little bit. I only got a little battery left. It's good to talk to you. We'll see you in Logan, Utah, won't we? Thanks a lot. Oh, you bet. All right, man. Yep. Be careful now. Okay, I gotta say, I think that's the first time that I've ever been interviewed by anyone at a show. Um, so, um, Scott Prawl had an opportunity to discover one of these, and for uh, any mortal being, uh, CD200 Cal is almost unobtainium. Unobtainium being the opposite of Lieberite. So, um, if you're in the, if you're interested in obtaining a CD100 Cal tramp, there you have it. Get a hold of Scott Prawl, P R A L L, and Scott will hook you up. When as I find him running around here, I'll get him to. Uh, share some contact information with you if you're looking for a if you're looking for a uh, a CD 200 Cal remember I talked to you over on Roger's table about a Hemingway stacker and a Pyrex stacker this is the top of a Pyrex stacker and there's the top of a Hemingway stacker you almost can't tell the difference because they are the same CD Here we have, let's see, Ben Kirsten from Oregon. Are you from Oregon or Washington? You're just over the border though, aren't you? I can never keep track of it. And then that guy there's Matt Grayson. And this guy there, aren't you from Texas, sir? Is there a doubt? Huh? Is there a doubt? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's good to see you back at the Rody Ranch, Elton. Welcome. Yeah. Have you had a good show? Oh, very good. Right on. Yep. Good to see you. And there's Nathan again. Hello. And uh, will we have an opportunity to see you guys at the National in Logan, Utah? Yes. All right. Very good. Well, welcome. Ben, you going to be there? We'll be there. All right. Bell's on. Bell's on. There we go. <laughs> Chomping at the bit. Yes, sir. That's right. So Ben has had the um, rare pleasure to come into some really, really, really cool porcelain insulators the last couple of, what, months? Yeah, and so uh, Ben and Elton have been putting their heads together and looking at some pretty cool stuff, huh? Yep, yeah, it's been a good, good couple months. Yeah, it has indeed. Um, I have been celebrating your uh, your good luck, man. It's sometimes it. it just lands in your lap, dude. <laughs> How about that, but yeah. Yeah, you got to love it while it's happening. Yep. So, right on. Well, hey, thank you guys for joining in the Lou and Mike show. Man, it's, I, it's everything I can do not to ask one of you to ears, mouth, and a... Uh, Hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hey. Great. I Teresa, you got one? Let me yes. see. Ooh, she very said it was nice. A French insulator. Huh? She said it was a French insulator. French insulator. Oh, that's right. The big one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. So, anyway. <laughs> right, very good. Hey, we got a spokes <laughs> model for the. Uh, this, I just got this from Lou. I was just wondering where yeah. it came from. Yep. I thought you were selling it. Not only did I get this from Lou, but Lou go, oh, Mike, you may want the original Chambers pin that goes with the Chambers candlestick. So when you get that from the pin man, you kind of have to believe it. Oh, my gosh. Right? So I was just super happy to get that. 
along with the here let's take this out and i'll put it on the i don't want to throw my garbage all over the place all right yeah so i was super happy to have an opportunity uh, for those of you who aren't aware um lou is changing his uh specialty from pins and brackets to uh, eye wash and eye bath cups thank you teresa you got the there it is look the chambers is man that's just pretty cool so i guess what i'll need to do is i'll need to get myself a wooden um a wooden plate or a platform or something and screw all that together and make that a display piece or something huh right on cool deal uh, no, I'll just leave it. Okay. I'll leave it out. I'll have to put a not for sale sticker on it or I'm going to have a crowd. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. All right. Do you have some stickers here? Uh huh? Do you have anything here you want me to put? Um, actually, it's all in boxes. It's a pain in the butt to get a hold of. But yeah, if you want to dig through there, go for it. Um, you'd have to pull everything out, and it's just like I said, it's a pain in the butt. All right, cool. Well, there's a box full of all that stuff in there. See, that's the thing. So it just, yep, right on. No? All right, well, don't worry about it then. Yeah, it's okay. We'll just put it all back together and no big deal. No big deal. I can. You can just set it right there. Yeah. I'm going to go over here and have a look at the side of the barn. I took a still of this yesterday. You might not be able to see in the picture the, the size of this of this switch receiver, but I mean this is my forearm. <laughs> this is this is a huge receiver for a knife switch right here. And there's the there's the business end of it. And there's the boom. There's the boom that comes down and goes right in. This is just a really, really cool cobalt, cobalt cutout. Hey, Pinky. Good morning. Now here's a picture of the uh, the side of the roadie barn. He's got still got some goodies hanging here and there, and. Uh, Got some JDs right there. And then Bill Ostrander's table is here. And those of you who know Bill well probably know that he works with radios and antennas. This is a, a picture of some of the goodies on Bill Ostrander's table, including a meter lamp. Oh my goodness, a meter lamp on Bill Ostrander's table. That's pretty cool. And there's Bill in the green shirt right there. Hey, Bill. Hi. Welcome to Lou and Mike Show. How you doing? Good. Good. Hey, if anybody uh, wants to get a hold of you or see something on your table that I showed that they can't live without, how should they reach out to you? Um, I think I might not kind correctly. Huh? I think I'm on Icon correctly. Oh, on Icon? Yeah. Okay, very good. They can Probably find you on Icon as Bill Ostrander. Yep. Excellent. Okay, we will do. It's Ken Wernow. Robin Christine Bowman. Go back and use the toilet. No, no, no thanks. I'll, <laughs> no. I'll pass. Hey, here's my buddy, man. Hey. Yeah. My top uh -oh. little buddy. Uh oh. George and Dan show. You, no, no, no. George and Judy oh. show. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. We got to keep that straight. I'm a visitor at that one. Oh, right on. But we did, uh, we made it happen together on the golf yeah. course, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Matter of fact, that's where it started. Yep, that's right. Man. Did you guys wreck the cart? 
Huh? Did you wreck the cart? No. <laughs> no, we didn't. No, oh, okay. I told we had Dan, a pretty good day of golf, too. I actually too. told Dan, I said, you know, Judy's been thinking about doing the show. And he goes, oh, this would be perfect. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden I had to do a house remodel. So, yeah. <laughs> but it happened, man, and it's been getting better every year. And yes, it has. Boy, I'll tell you, what, this might be the third to the last one you do. I think it's the last <laughs> one we do. Yeah. Oh, you're fourth to the last one. I see. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so everybody everybody going to talk me into every other year, but I, I don't think it's happening. I become a slave to the backyard. So, well, so George, it's listen. the same scenario as here. I, I don't know how many people I told you got to come to this road this year. Right. I'm saying the same thing about his show. Yep, South Lake Tahoe. It may not be there, you know. You know. Yeah. And, well, yeah. well, Stan and I know enough people that we could set the show up without you even knowing about it. And one day everybody <laughs> would just pull up with tables and insulators and it would be happening whether you were home or not. You know, It's looking, a beautiful setting out there. We've been looking for a place up there. Heck, we almost hey. bought a vacant lot <laughs> in front of them there. Yeah. The yard <laughs> always looks like that. So I know. Anytime you want. Hey, man. <laughs> I've dropped by with friends all the time, and you guys are always very hospitable. And you just come out and say hi and throw me a soda, and you yeah, know, good, good folks. Man, yep, absolutely. George and Judy Klingler. There you go. Yeah, hi, Judy. Hi, Mike. Even better. Not my backside. Don't get my backside. No, no. There we go. There's the shot right there. Hi. Okay. Oh, you might want to go. And Robin Sally? Rod. 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 I keep getting the name wrong. I need to be slapped. I, I put a sign on the table. Okay, very good. <laughs> is it still there? Yes, it is. Yeah. Uh, 25. Um, remind me, you guys said you were near Temecula? Yes. What's it called? Sage. Sage. Oh, well, imagine that. <laughs> it grows everywhere there, huh? Well, right on. And uh, we have the... Uh, opportunity to sit next to Rod and Sally at the show and uh, they're very personable people and we enjoyed our time with you guys so thank you very much for helping hey, out. Sally talked your ear off. Yeah that's right but that's, she does good. That's what I do. I know that's cool. I talk a lot and I know things. <sighs> I know things and you do that's good. All right. Very good. Bye -bye. <laughs> we'll see you. Look at that. Huh. <laughs> Teresa is amazing. I don't know where she found it and how she did it, but she's amazing. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think I've just about eaten up all the battery I have left for the Lou and Mike show for today, so I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Make a quick drive-by on the on the north end. Come out here and visit some folks on the north end. Yeah. And then Yeah. I never thought about that, but no, that I makes sense. I think that's exactly the way it was explained. Which would mean that Florence Nightingale was even before. Yeah, some beautiful yeah, hobnails. Bob McLaughlin, ladies and gentlemen. That would be the McLaughlin. Uh, he's the president of the uh, Golden State Insulator Club right now. Bob McLaughlin right there. What's up, Mike? Not much, sir. How you doing? Good. Welcome to Rody and the Lou and Mike Show. Good to see you. Thank you. Where'd you get that crackle? Somebody gave it to me, and they want to know how many McLaughlin made. I said none. <laughs> But if you got a freezer and an oven, you can make your own. So there you go. Crackalicious. That's correct. Oh, my goodness. I will sell it to the highest bidder. You will? Yep. Uh, that looks like at least 150 to me. Well, I'd do better than that. Will you? <laughs> okay. Right on. There you go. I'll do about 140. Okay. 145 less. 145. Less. Less. Oh. Wow, that's a good deal. Right on. Right on. Five bucks. Five dollars. 
Come get some. Hey. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Come and get it while it's hot. Let's do this thing. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Eve's trough insulators. Yeah, one time the one that's out on the Oh, and on this year? Are you guys doing that? I don't have any idea you guys doing that. That's pretty good. Uh, last Saturday in September. I might try this one. That should be cool. I'm not worth it. I might have time to actually do it. My wife will let me know. I don't know if I can get that embossing. I mean, in cues marking, excuse me. Nothing to remind me, and the next thing I know, it's gone. Eaves trough, gutter top. Hey, Mark. Oh, Mark and Mark. Excuse me. Yeah. Where's the cabinet? I've got it in my hand. Can't. There's no internet here, and there's not. There's insufficient cell bandwidth. Well, this will all be. This will all be tape delay. Yeah. Right on. Mark and uh, Heather Hilton, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys for joining the Lou and Mike show. Maybe the first time, huh? The uh, both of you together? Yeah, possibly, yeah. Where are you down from? Up around Auburn? Yeah, Auburn Penryn. Auburn Penryn, right on. And uh, what's your history in the hobby? Yeah, I've been collecting for about 30 years. Oh, only 30? Yeah. Oh, yeah, right I'm, on. I'm a baby. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, you're among friends here, man. We've all, we've all known your name for a lot of years. Heather, how are you hanging in with the whole program here? Also right? Your dad collected. Right on. Come on. Her father infected you in the hobby, yeah. huh? He gave Ouch. Me a, uh, 162 Hammond Ray Ice Blue. Really? And you did you help your dad hunt, Heather? Did you help your dad hunt? No, I never helped my dad hunt. Oh, right on. I did a lot of walks on the railroad track, so I probably did unbeknownst to me. That works. Yeah. Right on. <laughs> And uh, I suppose you've supported Mark's effort in building beautiful cabinets for the other hobby members. Yes, hold this, find that, and can you run to Home Depot for me? Yes, many, many times. <laughs> <laughs> you know. All right. Yes. Well, I'll, I'll have at least one of your cabinets in my collection, I think. No. I love it. I love it. All right, you guys, thank you for your time this morning. Y'all be careful. Take care. And there's Dave Hall and Pinky Hall. We got pictures of these two characters earlier yesterday. How y'all doing? Doing great. All right. The, the famous Lou and Mike show. That's right. Thank you for <laughs> announcing. Hi, Pinky. Hello. Good to see you. Good to see you again. 2023, Rodi Rat. Hey, man, you got it down. You want to carry the camera? I'll, I'll go do interviews and you follow me. This is probably the biggest crowd ever. Oh, man, this is fun. Yeah. yeah. And it became a two-day show. I know. And I Bill know. is the host of hosts. Yeah, he is. Yes. This is it. Yeah. This is our, our West Coast always, uh, Springfield. Isn't always it? a great time. Yes, indeed. All right. That's a crock. It is. <laughs> and it's already sold. Oh, right on. That's the best kind, man. Yeah. All right. So now we're at the North End. This is the North End. Hey, how are you? Welcome to Lou and Mike show. I'm Mike Doyle. Mike, how you doing? Hi, Linda. Hi, Linda. Hi. How are you? We met you years ago. I know back you did. In the 70s. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy, isn't it? You were back east at one time. Yes, sir. I was back east in the Chesapeake Bay Insulator Club. Yeah, because I was stationed in Norfolk with the Navy, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So, but it's not about me, right? How have you guys been doing? These are some beautiful insulators here. What's the story on these? Well, well Tony Langton sold that to uh, Peter Abbott, and Peter sold it to 
Jack. Jack Bristleman. Oh. And we bought it from Jack. Oh my goodness, and that's it's really, beautiful. Really, really close to one we already have. So oh. This there it is. sits. Oh, well, that oh I see. Yeah. I see. You compared them and you're like, hmm, yeah. do I need two of these? Yeah. Wow. So if, if this is something that someone can't do without, can they reach out to you somehow? Sure. How, how would they go about doing that? How would, what's the best way to get in contact with you? Uh, probably one of our cards. <laughs> Do you have one? I do, but I'll, I'll have to get back to you. Well, I'll take a picture of it. I don't have it in my pocket. Oh, okay. Because the, these two pieces are likely to draw some attention, especially among people who might not get around to watching this video for the next uh, four or five days. You know what I mean? And then they look at that and they go, they call me and they go, Doyle, whose table was that? And I'm like, I don't know. I don't remember. But if I, uh, if I get a picture of the... Wow, that's beautiful. Do you know what? Do you know what you have on this? Okay. Okay. So this one's four two zero zero, and this one is nine zero zero zero. Okay. Yes, indeed. As close to mint as you could want. That's a duplicate. We were able to buy back the same piece that had those little thumbprints in it around mm -hmm. the inner skirt that we sold back in the 70s. Oh boy. And so that made that a duplicate. Sold back in the 70s for 200. very good condition insulators both of these are pieces you would not want or have to upgrade once you got them beautiful exciting oh here comes the card so If either one of these insulators I'm about to show you again is a piece that you can't live without, this is the information to reach out to the owners who are selling it if it doesn't sell at this show, which is not, uh, <coughs> could go. <coughs> May not want to sit around and wait. <coughs> Excuse me. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All right. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Bob Merzoyan, Colin Jung. Bob Merzoyan, Colin Jung. Oh, there's Richard. I thought Richard was at the other end, but he's over here. That's Richard Hawkins. Richard Hawkins, right there. Both of those varieties I've had for years and years and years. How are you doing? Having a good show? All right. So you know, not intimidating. That's basically to look. Those would be my my favorite. Okay. Great. There's, there's then, also a couple other varieties. Yeah, I don't know. Tahoe Bowl and Shasta Bowl. That are the bigger fruit. They're a little bit. Hey, how you doing? Got a good mug shot here. Yeah. I've got just a little battery left. I'm at 49 minutes right now, so I'm just trying to finish up for. I always, I always give the North End a, a raw deal because I never get up here in time before my battery's dead. So this time I said I'm going to make a special trip. Yeah, you know, such a common problem. Somebody should have a little fix, a little thing. You plug it in, and in two minutes your battery's finished. I have a pack, and I am delinquent in not having brought it. No. All right. Well, at least we know who to blame now. That's right. That's right.
does it all. Yeah, I don't even have a recipe. That's okay. $25 less. Well, he got $20. All right. Thank you. Of course, son. Yeah. And mainly because I'm, I'm, I'm hiking. You know, I'm hey, John. Welcome to the show, man. That's cool. The way you finished this, that's that's awesome. Nice job. Very cool. Okay, thank you. It is a neat, it is a neat one. Mark Merzoyan and Jim Harlow. Cool, cool. Hey, hey. Hey, Linda. Hey, Terry. Hey, hello. Good to see hey, you. Hey. Good to see you. Good to see you. Got the monster with me. Yeah, that's right. Oh, man. That's quite the friendly beast. Yes, indeed. Yeah, I know. Hi, hi. How you doing, huh? How you doing? Good to see you. Man, you give slobberiest kisses in the whole wide world. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Oh, my goodness. All right. These are ridiculously cool. Oh my goodness. Man, these look these remind me of Zanesville. These are awesome. So that's my story. Is he showing off good stuff in there? Yeah? Can I come be nosy? Yeah, I guess. Am I allowed? Well, I wouldn't walk up on you without asking. Oh, What's do your... you want to see an insulator? I do, please. Okay. I mean, I... oh my goodness. Look at that. That's that guy. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, that you can be yours. It matches his car. Oh, it does. Nice. You got the cobalt ride. You got the cobalt insulator to go with it. No, it's not cobalt. It's no. something else. But... Oh, where it's a tweener. Yeah, you put it by a cobalt and you'll notice it's a totally different bird. Really? So what, what, yeah. do, what do you think about the one that Scott... Got, I mean, yours is more brilliant, but you see that similarity. Yeah, right? yeah. Uh, Dwayne compared the two. I did. And this one's a little bit darker, I think he yeah. said. And Interesting. Of course, better condition, but. Man, I wish you could come by the house this afternoon and compare it to mine, because I've got one that's off cobalt, too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what, I don't know what color you call it. It's pretty, is what it is. Dark sapphire. It's pretty cool. Okay. There you go. The only reason you got it was right, to. Go with the car? the car? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I always try to, you know, dress uh, <laughs> stay, the stay best I can. Well, thanks for letting me butt in. I appreciate it. Sure. Thank you for the eye candy, man. <laughs> so, somebody's blowing carboys. Oh, my Lord. Tim, what's the word on these? Well, I bought them 20 years ago at a bottle shop. Okay. And 
Uh, bottle guy was over here a while ago and talked to me and said they are Mexican from the 60s. I believe it. 1960s. Sure. And uh, I don't know, I just liked them at the time and and I bought them one at a time when I could find them. Yeah. And now I don't have room for them. So I know how that goes. On their way out. Right? Yep. Man. Yeah. They're very reminiscent of the old Zanesville. They are. Yeah, they are. But they're not. Oh, of course not. Right. They're but, not Midwest. They are. But if you are a person who can appreciate a Zanesville pattern and don't want to pay $6,800 or go. eleven five, There you go. Boom. Yep. You know. And they're great decorators. They are beautiful. Too, right? Yeah. Well, uh, look how crude the glass is. I mean, yeah. air bubbles and. It, I was just. I was, you know. Tops and a lot of them yep. are. Pontal pieces, they're all hand blown. Yeah. Oh, open panel, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. Indeed. And, and that's a signature Mexico thing, but sure. I mean, you know, we're lucky in California and on the West Coast, we get a lot of this stuff, and oh, it's beautiful. Sure. Yeah. You know, yeah. it really is. Yep. Yes, indeed. Yep, there's a panel. Jerry, you bet. Look at that, all those bubbles. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Man, alive. Goodness gracious, these are beautiful. <laughs> Sparkly as you... Man. Hey. Yeah, very crude. Yeah. And this is a really robust orange. Look at that. That's nice. This needs a cork and some tequila. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll just set it in the cabinet and uh, look at it. Diet Pepsi, man, myself. Oh, uh, that's a safe way to go, man. <laughs> Believe me. I hear you. Oh, man. Beautiful, Tim. Hey, um, somebody who can't live without these could reach you somehow. Um, uh, yeah. Unfortunately, I don't have a card with me right can you, now. Can you say your email address? Are you comfortable my, doing that? I am. My, All right. My email address is C E W T I M at gmail.com. So C E W Tim yes. at gmail.com. C E W being a play on Cal Electric Works. Exactly. There you go. So exactly. C E W Tim at gmail.com. That's correct. And y'all can talk uh, carboys. <laughs> and Zanesville and yeah, all that cool go. stuff, right? And hand blown Mexican glass. Yeah, yeah. Heck yeah, man. These are yeah, nice. If I had one little bit of room. Uh. <laughs> That's my problem. That's why they're up for sale. Glass is just glass is yeah, awesome. It is. All right. And Thanks, then Mike. I see you're you're welcome, sir. I see your wife brought her purple. Yeah. Beautiful. Purple. Beautiful purple. So again, uh, if there's something here that you see and you are a collector of amethyst glass Joanne Tim's wife brings these so I suspect that the CEW Tim at gmail.com would also work to communicate with Joanne and uh, talk to her about some of these beautiful amethyst pieces. All right. Well, I saw him walking around. My uh, phone is telling me that I'm at the end of my rope, battery-wise, so I'm going to wrap it up. And I want to thank everyone for spending an hour with the Lou and Mike Show at the Rody Ranch in California for the 2023 Insulator Roundup. And uh, you guys you guys have been uh, a great support for Lou and me. And I wanted to let you all know publicly that uh, Lou is not done traveling. We're... We're still going to be a thing out on the road again. And although he is uh, specializing in eyewash cups these days. Hi, Bob. Hey there. Um, he is uh, still going to be wheels up. And we're going to be out in the boat. So you all take care. And Lou and Mike Show signing off. Thanks again for spending time with us today.
by now.